Hi guys and welcome to another Maths Guru video here for the Further Maths course. Really good to see you. If you are on YouTube, it's lovely seeing you. Can you do me a favour? Over in the corner is a little doohickey to subscribe. Click that, like, notifications, all that type of stuff will be greatly appreciated. If you are over on MathsGuru.com, that's awesome because you will have access to lesson notes, exam questions, uh, oh, time-coded videos and so, so much more. If you haven't already done so, why not zip over to MathsGuru.com where you can sign up for free and view all of these videos. Okay, this is part of the Further Maths course and we're going to continue now with the properties of triangles review. By the end of the lesson, I always put what it is I'm hoping you will achieve. Um, and again, you know, it's knowing what interior and exterior angles are, what an equilateral triangle is, what a bisector is. Now, the minute I say bi, hopefully you're not giggling, you are turning around saying, ah, oh, yeah, I know what that means. It means two, good bicycle what an isosceles triangle is, and what a right angle triangle is as well. Now this may seem ridiculously simple, probably because you've been doing it since about year five. Uh, but obviously now the thing about further maths is we're taking that knowledge and we're very much putting it together with all sorts of stuff like um, algebra. So in our previous video, we did, did, uh, dealt with parallel lines, but we threw in some very funky algebra stuff as well. Now, as I say, there is a previous video. It dealt with parallel lines, it dealt with fuzzics, it dealt with all of the stuff that you're gonna need. It's prior learning for the rest of this course. If you haven't already watched the video, please go back and have a look. It's 20 minutes long. If you're on mathsguru.com, just click the previous video link below and you will be taken there. Um, but let's start, interior and exterior. Hopefully all of you are aware that interior design is interior and exterior means uh, obviously that exterior. Now, interior angles are those angles which are effectively inside my triangle. Now, there we go, there is an interior angle, there is an interior angle, and there is an interior angle. And for that particular triangle that you are seeing, it's highly likely that it's equilateral. So what I can do is put little lines on here to turn around and say, well, that is an equilateral triangle. And we know lots of things about triangles. And the most important we should know is the interior angles of a triangle will always sum to 180 degrees. Yes, really, really important to know that they will always sum to 180 degrees. But what about exterior angles? You know, I don't know outside of the further mass course when I would ever have dealt with the exterior angles of triangles. Um, we're trying to deal with it with polygons and yes, a triangle is a polygon, but this is an exterior angle. So there we go, I extend that and there is my exterior angle. I extend this and there is an exterior angle and I extend this and there is my exterior angle. But I suppose the question is, what are all of these angles add up to? Well, let's imagine this is an uh, equilateral triangle and we know that that's 60, and that's 60, and that's 60. We know that these lines added together, or those two angles added together, because it's a straight line, add up to 120 degrees. So that would suggest that that's gotta be 120 degrees. This exterior angle is 120 degrees, and that exterior angle is also 120 degrees, which if I now sum all of those together, then it would suggest the sum of the exterior angles would equal 120, plus 120, plus 120, which is in fact 360 degrees. Whoa! Now actually that sort of makes sense because what I want you to think about is if I was actually to walk around the exterior of this shape, but to follow a circle, how many degrees will I have turned? 360, and actually as it turns out, the exterior angles of all polygons, of all shapes like we're gonna be dealing with today, are 360 degrees. That does not mean that the angles inside are 360 as well, okay? This is a triangle and we know from previous work that the uh, interior angles of a triangle are in fact 180 degrees. But it's important to note that exterior angles of a triangle are 360 degrees. Now, do you remember the four different types of triangles? Hopefully you do because they're right behind me on that screen. There are equilateral, as in the sides are all the same. There are isosceles, as in two of the sides are the same. Scalene, none of the sides are the same. And right angle triangles, where the inside is right angled. Now the good thing about right angle triangles, ladies and gentlemen, is you will be coming to them soon when we start dealing with Pythag and Trig. Yes, it is coming back, but hopefully you're a little bit older than you were when the first time we did this. So here we go, here is my equilateral triangle. And the way we show an equilateral triangle in maths is we put those little marks on the side. That tells us the side lengths are in fact the same. And we know 
Tadi itu.